Dundee United. They had to act early into their campaign with things not working out under Jack Ross. Liam Fox delivered a victory in this competition to set up this tie and got the job on a permanent basis. Odiosu is forward from Armstrong, now picked up by Rory McKenzie. A curling delivery, it will settle here for Lafferty, who claims that ball, and Kevin Clancy points to the spot. It is a yellow card as well. I think his arms outstretched here. He's leathered him from a short distance away. His arms down by his side. It hits him near his elbow. That to me is not a penalty kick. Somebody tell me what Liam Smith meant to do with his arm. Well, an early opportunity. It's Lafferty against Ericsson. And Lafferty gives Kilmarnock the early advantage at Rugby Park. A step forward for the Ayrshire sides as they look to book their place at Hamden. Well, it's a good finish from Kyle Lafferty. Into the, the side of the net. Comfortable, composed finish. Shouldn't have been a penalty, it shouldn't be a goal. Dungeon United have got to lick their wounds and just get on with it now. They're 1-0 down. He's not outstretched. It's not deliberate, the pace of the, the strike, the distance of it, all these things to come into consideration. You, know, you can't punish somebody for that. United looking to respond here, with Smith with the cut back, and they have responded! And it's Glenn Middleton with the instant response for the visitors. And just like that, it's all squared up. He takes the touch and swivels and smashes it in the net. Good play, interchange down that right. It's a lovely pick out, but just there you can see Freeman has the, sh he has the strike. Hits fresh air. We won two between Smith and Watt. Lovely cutback, and that's a great finish. He almost just pokes it into the corner. No real back lift. On the edge for Lafferty, who did think about winding up the shot instead. It's for Armstrong to try and work some of his magic power to deliver towards the back post. And it's just come off the post from Mayo's effort. The recirculated it really well. It was a not a bad ball in from Power. And I tell you what, Mayo's gets in front of, is it Smith? No, it's McMahon he gets in front of. I think he should be doing better, Rory. He's Picked up by McKenzie. Armstrong. It opens up for Armstrong. Wide it goes. Well, Kamarnik are better at winning those second balls so far in this game. Mackenzie gets on, it, he lays it to Armstrong and he cuts in on that left foot. Just trying to find that far corner. I think Ericsson had it covered. Jones, Mackenzie. Jones once more. Jordan Jones, it's a great ball in, and headed into the back of the net, but Daniel Armstrong, come on and lead again, and there's 18 minutes to go, delight for the home crowd at Rugby Park. And he does it again, but just look over on the far side, Bage, he's sleeping, Armstrong gets on the inside of him, and he doesn't track him, he looks to the linesman hoping he's offside, but he just doesn't mark him. He's doing nothing, the Australian. He puts his arm out. It's a great ball in from Jones, and it's a free header for Armstrong. McMahon's got his man, Deutsch. He needs his partner behind him, Behenge, to come round and fill. He doesn't, he stands and ball watches. A chance to throw it forward for Sibbald. Taylor, only as far as Watt. And now Fletcher! Well, it was a stunning effort, he just couldn't get it to dip enough under the crossbar. He is it. He gets up and wins the initial header. Eventually falls to Tony Watt, flicks it around the corner, he's definitely onside, loads of space. From Dieter Van Turnout and 2012. It's been a long decade. There's been relegation, promotion, but Kilmarnock are heading back to Hamden Park.